Welcome to junior intermediate class. We have a lot of stuff today that we got to get through, so let's just get right into it. So we're going to start off with 10 super amazing jumping jacks. Make sure we're staying all together. No going ahead of me. I can't keep up. So remember, stay together with me. We're going to do 10 awesome jumping jacks. Ready? On my count. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Very good, guys. Now we're going to get into a deep sitting stance. So legs wide, knees bent. Put your favorite hand out in front and punch. Aya! So we're going to do punches towards the middle of the chest on my count. Remember, we're not doing super slow, sluggish punches. We're doing super fast, strong punches. Make sure we're focusing on the middle of the chest, right? Punches on my count, and one. Aya! We got to yell after each punch, too. Ready? Two. Aya! Three. Aya! Four. Aya. Five. Aya. Six. Aya. Seven. Aya. Eight. Aya. Nine. Aya. Ten. Aya. And Schultz popped her elbow on that last punch. Good. <laughs> now we got to stretch those legs out, reach high towards the sky, and then down to the ground. Oh, a lot of, lot of purple hair on the left. Oh, there I am. Good. Get that nice stretching. So we got to do the full fit test today. So we got to make sure we're nice and stretched out for that. Good. Then go over to your left side. Try to get your nose to your knee. It's possible, I promise. Good. Then over to your right side. Oh, I can't see anything. Good. And then back towards the middle. Try and get that full split stretch. Ms. Schultz is almost there. <laughs> almost. Hopefully you guys are doing better than me. <laughs> Good. And then, oh, get it back up on your feet. Woo. And then shake those legs out. So we stretch them out pretty good. Now shake those out. Good. Now we're going to get into a sparring stance. Aya! Aya! Jab, crosses in the sparring stance. So we're jab with that upper hand, cross with that back hand. Get a little hip action there. So when you're doing your cross, make sure that belt goes flying to the other side, just like that. So right, hands up, sparring stance, jab crosses on my count. Make sure we yell after each one, of course. So ready? And one. Aya. Uh, two. Aya. Three. Aya. Four. Aya. Five. Aya. Miss Schultz just punched her own hand. <laughs> and switch your feet. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Be more accurate with your punches. Good. So hands up. Same thing on the other side. Ready? One. Aya. Uh, two. Aya. Three. Aya. Four. Aya. Good. And then back towards the middle. We're going to finish off with another awesome 10 jumping jacks. We're making them even better than the first time we did them. Give me two thumbs up if you can make them even better and more awesome and amazing. Very good. So 10 jumping jacks. Stay together with me. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Very good, guys. Let's straighten out those uniforms, tighten up those belts. Make sure we look good, because if you know Ms. Schultz, you know that presentation is key, always. Good. Woo. So make sure you find a little stick on your own, and we're going to go into stick position. And we are going to balance, so we can get class started. So ready? And everyone set, and bow! Good, now we're going to repeat the tenets of Taekwondo. Repeat after me. Courtesy. Courtesy. Integrity. Integrity. Perseverance. Perseverance. Self-control. Self-control. Indomitable spirit. Indomitable spirit. Now we're going to say a student oath. I shall observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I shall observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I shall respect instructors and senior students. I shall respect instructors and senior students. 
I shall never misuse Taekwondo. I shall never misuse Taekwondo. I will be a champion of freedom and justice. I will be a champion of freedom and justice. I will build a more peaceful world, ma'am. I will build a more peaceful world, ma'am. And back. Yes, I can. Very good, guys. So we are going to start right into our fit test. It, we are going to start off with our push-ups. So if you have a parent or a sibling that's not taking class around, um, bring them out on the, uh, uh, with you. You guys have five seconds to get your parents. So five, a four, a three, a two, a two and a half, two and a quarter, one, and there you go. Hello, parents. So we're going to start with our push-ups. So if you guys wouldn't mind counting uh, their push-ups for me, making sure they're good, too. We don't want to see any mountains. We don't want to see any flopping bowls. We want to make sure they have straight backs, staying on their toes, and we're bending our arms, okay? We're not head bobbing. We're bending those arms. So I'm going to set my timer for a minute of your best push-ups. I will be up here looking at you guys to make sure we are looking good. So you guys ready? I want in push-up position. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. So ready? Got my eyes on you guys. So you got one minute of push-ups starting now. Crick them out. You guys got it. Boom. Very good, guys. Good, keep it up. Good, Pablo, nice job. You guys got it, keep it up. Keep Noah, it up. Matthew, you are looking awesome, friend. Very good. Look at this, Michelle, look at Noah. Uh, cranking them out, nice job. Just fast. You guys are halfway done already. Ah. Keep it up, guys. Not looking great, just cranking them out, I love it. Shachi, you're looking good. Good. Keep that bottom good. down, girl. Keep it up. You got it. Shake those arms out. Keep going. You guys have 10 seconds. Let's see the super 10 seconds. So fast, powerful push-ups. And stop. Nice job, guys. So we're going to roll over onto our backs because we're going to do some sit-ups now. So parents, if you can, uh, hold your child's feet to the ground. Make sure they're glued to the ground. Make sure um, they're not moving and wiggling the whole time. And uh, make sure for these sit-ups, they're coming all the way up. So they got to touch their elbows to their knees. I don't want to see any half sit-ups. I want to see a full sit-up going all the way up and all the way back down. So you got one minute of your best sit-ups and go. Good job, guys. Got Ellie and Cecilio cranking it out over here. Nice job. Good, Arav. Nice job, sir. Got Pablo's dog walking through the frame. <laughs> Sachin, looking good, friend. Keep going. Good, Sachin. Nice job. Pablo. Halfway done. Keep going, Already. friend. Good job. Oh, oh Pablo's dog. doggy. A puppy. Is that Alara? Oh, look, it's Miss Alara. Hey, good job, girl. Hi, guys. Keep it up, guys. All right, Ridge, keep it up. Hey, nice Ridge. and strong. Looking good. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. You guys have 10 seconds left. Super 10 seconds. Let's do it as fast as you can. Oh, Mason is going so fast and blurry. And stop. Nice job, guys. So... Now we are going to stand up on our feet and we're going to do our punches this time. So parents, if you're there, you can hold a target out for your child's punches. Um, and remember, for, we're doing jab cross, so we're counting every two punches. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So parents, if you're holding a target um, and they're doing two punches, count uh, every time they punch one of your hands. It makes it easier to count, at least it does for me. So we're gonna do some jab crosses, so an inspiring stance. Oh, yeah. You got one minute of your fastest, strongest punches, and go. Good job, guys. Remember, full extension on those arms. Neil, let's see some awesome punches, sir. Keep those hands up, nice job. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Keep those hands up. All right, got them. Make sure we're focusing. Good. Strong punches. Nice. There we go. That's black belt material. 
Is that your sister staring at you in the background? Get her out of here. <laughs> Good job, guys. Keep it up. Uh, Cecilia oh, and Eliana. Punching. Oh, they're both punching mom. Oh, my Good goodness. Job. You guys have 20 seconds left. I missed the halfway mark. I was so distracted by your awesome. All right, Caden, let's see good, strong punches. Now we're in the super 10 seconds. So super speed, super strong. Last 10 Shrub. seconds. You guys got it. You guys Keep are going. more Keep than halfway done with your fit test. And stop. Nice, nice job, job, guys. Now we are moving right into our next one, which is front kick. So remember, keeping those hands up. You want to make sure these front kicks are above the belt. So parents, if you're counting your kids' front kicks, don't count any ankle kicks. Those aren't good front kicks. You want to make sure they're belt high or above. If they're kicking the head, that's pretty awesome. So you guys ready to get in that nice sparring stance? Aya! Aya! Good. So right, front kicks above our belts. And go! Ms. Schultz, this little pro tip, it's faster if you use the front leg, because front leg is your speedy leg. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. I believe in you. I believe. Looking good, guys. Remember, keep those kicks above the belts. You are halfway there. I don't want to see any hands by our side. I want to see hands up by your face. Let's see it, Miss John B. Good job. Nice, nice high kick. Job, kicks, high kicks. Oh, Alan, I'm Baby. coming to you, friend. Oh, whoa, oh, I think you just kicked me in the head. Oh, no. Yeah, it's super 10 seconds, so make sure they're the fastest and the strongest these last 10 seconds. Come on, Neil. Let's see your best kicks. Nice and high, buddy. There we go. Up. Up. There we go. Good job. Nice job. Guys, we have one more part of our fit test, and then we're done. So I know you guys are tired. Take a breather while I explain the next one, and then let's rock it this last time. So next, we're doing our combo, which is our jab crosses and our front kicks together. So parents, if you're counting, remember, count every jab, cross, and front kick. So it's three moves. Make sure you're counting every combo. So it's one, two, three, and so on. Don't count any of these T-Rex punches and ankle kicks or whatever this is, okay? That's not a combo. We want to see full extension on those punches and belt high kicks, just like we were doing before. You guys ready? It's the last one. I believe you guys. I know you guys are tired, but power through, okay? So I'm going to get into your sparring stance. Hey, uh. last, com last fit test combo. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Ready? And go. All right, Isaac, let's see it. Oh, let's, oh, there we go. Let's get it up. Oh, look at that. That kick got so much higher once we got on the TV. Look at that. Excellent. Very good, guys. Keep it up. Oh, nice. So harsh. Good job. Very good. Well, I got to come back to Noah. He's looking strong. Woo. Good job, Noah. You guys are halfway done. Make this last part the best one. Oh, my gosh. I have to come back to Alara, too. Whoa, super strong. Woo, look at those kicks, ma'am. Nice job. Well, we got a family family kick in here. Oh, We're nice so job. Family. Good job, yes. Stylers. Get out, guys. You guys got it. We're in our super 10 seconds. Make sure they're the strongest and the fastest. You guys got it. I believe. Keep going, zombie. Keep going. And stop. Nice, nice job. job, guys. So if you had a parent or a sibling helping you out, give them a high five a handshake or a big hug. Say thank you for helping me with my fit test. You're super awesome. Love you. I'll do the dishes later. <laughs> nice. So I know you guys are tired right now. So I'm going to give you guys a breather. I'm going to talk about what we're working on this week. So our little word of the week is muscle memory, a new one from our regular cycle words. But muscle memory, think about like when you're doing your form, and you don't really have to think about it that much, that's because you've done your form and you practice it so much that your muscles remember where they're going in their form. So if I'm doing my key bond form, I'm not really, I'm focusing on my form, but I'm not overthinking it. My muscles know where they're supposed to go. It's called muscle memory. And you build up muscle memory by practicing a ton of times. It works that way. That's how forms work. Once you practice it a ton of times, 
you don't need to think about it as much because it's just there and your muscles are like we got it from here so muscle memory it's a hard term to explain i'm trying the best i can but um yep yeah, that's what we're working on this week speaking of forms we're gonna move right into our forms for this week for testing coming up soon okay guys so we're gonna get into our awesome ready stance i'm gonna walk through the form with you guys the first time i will be facing away from you for the first half or so gallery view there we go so i'm gonna be facing my back just so i'm going the same direction as you guys but uh i'm still gonna be watching you guys to make sure you guys look good so let's get in that awesome ready stance once you've gotten your drink of water you're refreshed let's crank this out got a lot of stuff to do today so on ready stance yes ma'am i want to see that everyone's super focused right now good so i'm turning my back good so we're gonna step out to our left side with our left hand first outer form block so make sure this is your left hand. Good. Then don't move your feet. Punch. Then we're going to do our railroad track steps. So step with your left leg, then step with your right leg. Out of form block. Don't move your feet. Punch. Now we're not going to pick up our feet. We're going to shift our feet to the left corner. We're going to do our twin out of form block. And then we're going to front kick with our right leg. And then land jump cross. And then we're going to pick up our right leg, go to the right corner, twin out of form block, back leg, front kick, land, jump cross. Good. Then we're going to go straight to the back. So you guys are going straight towards the camera. You're going to do your high block with your left hand first, and then step out, high block with your right hand. Good. Then you're taking your left hand, you're crossing it, so you're tapping your right cheek. Spinning all the way around, you will be facing away from the camera. That's okay. So spin all the way around, same stance, knife hand strike. So this is with your left hand. So make sure you guys have your left hand out for that same stance, knife hand strike. And then step your feet together. And then step out, same stance, knife hand strike with your right hand. Good, now I'm back to ready stance. Very good, guys. So that was a good walk through. But I want to make sure. So even if you know the whole form, I don't want you guys to go ahead of me, okay? Because remember, I still see you. And if I see someone that's on a different move, I assume that you're confused. So I want to make sure we're all staying with me so I'm not having to waste time explaining what the move is, okay? So this time, I'm going to be up here at the camera watching you guys, but I will be saying what the moves are. But I just want to make sure we're staying focused and having an awesome form. So everyone, let's get into our ready stance. Yes, ma'am. So on ready stance, are we all on ready stance? I'm gonna make sure we're all good on ready stance. And we're all in frame. Very good. So we're gonna step out to our left first, left outer form block. Good, then don't move your feet, punch. Then you're gonna do your railroad track step. So left foot first, then right foot outer form block. Good, don't move your feet, punch. Good, remember no going ahead of me, I see you guys. Then you gotta go to your left corner, and then twin, out of form block. Then back leg, front kick, land, jet cross. You gotta pick up your right leg, go to your right corner, twin, out of form block. Then back leg, front kick. Then land, punch, punch. Good, then you're going towards the camera and you go to your high block. And then step forward, another high block. Then you're going to spin all the way around so you're facing away from the camera. Spin, land, knife hand strike in a sitting stance. This should be your left hand out. Good, and then step your feet together and step out to your right, knife hand strike in a sitting stance. Good, now we're back to ready stance. Nice job, guys, that looked really good, okay? Very good, but now we got the basis down, let's make sure it's looking snappy and awesome, just like that. Let's see how much time do we have? Oh, we have plenty of time. Okay, we're gonna go through that one more time, okay? So I'm still gonna say the moves, and you guys gotta do it. So, you guys gotta give me a double thumbs up, you're gonna make this last form the best form. Let's make sure we're seeing kicks above our belts too, guys. Ooh, yeah, kicking above our belt, guys. 
that's one, that's Taekwondo 101. We never kick below the belt. That's not cool. Okay, guys, so right, let's get in the awesome ready stance. Yes, ma'am. Good. I want to make sure we all have our super serious warrior faces on right now because we've got to make this last time the best time. Oh, Galpin, that's a scary warrior face, man. <laughs> okay, guys, so stepping out to our left first, outer form block. Good. Don't move your feet. Punch. Good. Then railroad track steps. So left foot first, then right foot, out of form block. Don't move your feet. Punch. Good. Um, oh, and bug. He hops with your feet, sir. And then other hand. There Very you go. good. And then you guys shift over to your left corner. Twin, out of form block. And then back leg, front kick. Land, punch, punch. Good. And then you gotta go over to your right corner, twin, out of four block. Then back leg, front kick. Land, punch, punch. Good. Then you're going towards the camera, high block. Then step forward and high block. Now you're going to chamber, spin all the way around, you're facing away from the camera. Neck hand strike in a sitting stance. Good. So, Audrey, I want you to switch your hands, girl. Nice job. Then you guys step your feet together and then step out to your right. Neck hand strike in a sitting stance. Good. Now back to ready stance. Nice job, guys. I want to give yourself a big clap over the head and say, I'm awesome. Very good. So I want you guys to still keep working on that form, okay? We still have videos on the form um, on the site. And Miss Amanda set out those forms a while ago. I don't know what I'm talking about. But make sure you guys keep practicing those forms, okay? Because testing is coming up soon. You want to make sure you're looking A-OK. -okay, super awesome. Okay, so we are done with forms. I want to make sure we're moving on to some other stuff before class ends because I don't want to end on just forms. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are I go right into our kick combo. So remember, that's our four really cool round kicks. It's just round kicks, so it's not that hard. Okay, guys, so we're going to work on some of the basic round kicks real quick. Let's work on our back leg round kick because that can be difficult for some people. Okay, guys, so remember for back leg round kick, pivot is very important. Repeat after me. Pivot is very important. Pivot is very important. Yes, it is. Thank you, Miss Lance. Okay, so remember, for that back leg round kick, you have to swing your leg all the way around. If I don't pivot this foot, my round kick's gonna go over to the side over here. And that's not what I want. I wanna kick what's in front of me, not over what's over here. My old couch, I don't wanna kick my old couch, I wanna kick the camera. So, I'm gonna swing that leg all the way around, which means I'm gonna pivot my foot all the way around so my heel is facing the camera, and then I'm gonna point that knee and then pop that foot, just like that. So we're gonna pack, we're gonna rep those back leg round kicks a few times to make sure we got it down and then we'll put it all together in our combo. Sound good? Give me a double thumbs up if that makes sense. Miss Schultz isn't talking gibberish. Yay, I'm so glad. Okay guys, let's get into that sparring stance. Ah! So put your favorite leg behind you. I don't really care which, just your favorite one. We're gonna be working both anyway. So right, back leg round kicks on my count. Make sure you yell after each round kick. Of course. So ready? Back leg round kicks. And one. Aya. Good. And reset. And two. Aya. Reset. Three. Aya. Reset. Four. Aya. Reset. Last one on the side, guys. And five. Aya. Good. Hop, switch your feet. So this time, I'm gonna count you guys off, but I'm gonna make sure I'm looking at you guys, making sure these back leg round kicks look amazing. Okay, guys, ready? Hands up, and one. Oh, yeah. Good, guys. Remember, keep those hands up by your face. I don't wanna see hands flopping down by your sides. Ready, two. Oh, yeah. Very good. I wanna see who can get like head kick level, cause that's impressive. Ready, three. Okay, now I want to see who can kick above the head, but don't hurt yourself. Ready? Four. Good. Last one, guys. Make it the best one. And five. 
Very good. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our skip round kick, which is my favorite because it's a super fun kick. So remember, for a skip round kick, it is, first of all, it's not a step. I see so many people trying to do the skip round kick and they're just stepping their feet together and then kicking. No, that's not a skip, that's a step. Skip involves a fun little hop in there. So remember for that skip round kick, when I hop, it's like I'm switching the placement of my feet. So my left foot, in this, in this case, it's going to hop and switch to where my right foot was a minute ago. So I got that little skip in there, just like that. So remember, skip round kick, I'm kicking with my front leg. Make sure when you're skipping, you're not switching legs, because that looks weird and complicated. So remember, I'm going to skip, switch them, and then round kick, just like that. So let's rep those a few times to make sure we got it down. So right, Ellen, sparring stance, ah yeah. Oh, yeah. Here you are, yeah. Good distance away so you're not kicking siblings, pets, or that camera because your parents will kill you. Okay, so we're on sparring stance. Let's get these down. So, ready? Skip, round kicks. Remember, kicking with that front leg. Ready? And one. Oh, yeah. Good. And then reset. Two. Oh, yeah. Good. Reset. And three. Oh, yeah. Reset. And four, ah, yeah. Then reset. Last one on this side, guys. Make it the best. And five, ah, yeah. Good. And then hop with your feet. Good. So again, I'm gonna be up here watching you guys, judging. Let's see who's got the best skip round kicks in the class. Okay, right. So skip round kicks on your other leg this time. Make sure those hands are up by your cheeks. I don't want to see hands flopping down. I hate seeing that. It makes me sad. Okay, so right. And one. Oh, yeah. Woo, I see energy up. Nice job. Ready? Two. Miss Alara. Ready? Three. Woo, look at that kick. Good job, guys. And four. Whoop. Uh, I oh, I think up. Good. <laughs> Wait, Let's, last one. Can this I side, guys, make it the best one. Five. Oh, yeah. Try and get that kick. Very up. good. Okay, so we are ready to put this combo together into one big masterpiece. So remember, I'm gonna go over the order of the moves and then I'm gonna go over it with you guys real quick. So ready? So don't do anything. I just want you guys to watch. Uh, I have such a narrow space. I'm gonna have to like back up in the mid flip shell. Oh my God. Okay, so ready? So I'm gonna use that front leg. I'm gonna do my front leg round kick first. Then I'm going to step and then round kick. Then I'm gonna do my back leg round kick, and I'm not gonna hit my calf, so I'm gonna do my skip round kick and yell, ah, yeah. just like that. So it's four round kicks. So I'm gonna go towards the camera this time doing it. So remember, so it's front leg round kick, step, round kick, back leg round kick, skip, round kick, ah, yeah. I almost kicked my laptop. Very good. So uh, now I'm going to rep that with you guys this time. So, Ellen, back up a little bit from your camera so you're not hitting it. Let's get in that nice spine stance. Ah! So let's practice that combo together a few times. So ready? Front leg, round kick. Good, then we're going to step and round kick. Then we're gonna swing our back leg over, round kick. And then we're gonna do our skip, round kick and yell, ah -yah! Then I run back to ready stance, or back to where you were. <laughs> okay, so this time I'm gonna be up here watching you guys this time. I almost kicked my camera and I have hardwood floors and it hurts my feet. Okay, so ready? And sparring stance, make sure you're a little far away from your camera. So ready, front leg, round kick. Good, then step, round kick with that same front leg. And then back leg, round kick. And then skip, round kick, and yell, ah! Yeah! Good, now I'm back to where you were. Nice job, we're gonna do that one more time because class is almost over. I wanna make sure we end with the perfect combo. So, say with me, last one, best one. Last one, best one. Exactly, so on spine stance, Make sure you have that angry warrior face on, because it's like science. If you have an angry face and a serious face, you do better. I don't know, that's weird. Okay, so on hands up, sparring stance, let's make sure these hands stay up and these kicks are above the belt. So ready, front leg, round kick. 
Then step, round kick. Back leg, round kick. And then last but not least, skip, round kick, and yell, ayah! Woo, nice job, guys. I wanna give yourself a big clap over the head and say, I'm awesome. I'm and awesome. I know it. Very good, guys. So, Miss Lance, do we have any announcements for today? We do. So we are going to be doing testing next week. The details about that will be going out very soon. Miss Amanda and Mr. Neville are working very hard on that. We are going to do them um, individual uh, private lesson style. So if you guys have not signed up your private lesson this week, make sure you do that. We started those last week. Every student gets a 15 minute private lesson free as part of your program each week. But that's how we're going to do testing. When we get that out live, you'll sign up for a 15 minute slot. Your instructor will come on the call with you, just like you guys do the private lessons, and then they will go over your testing material. It'll be form, it'll be sparring combo and kick combo. So we will get exact details out about that very soon to you guys. Um, and we will still have classes next week, even though we're doing testing, we're going to do the testing around our classes. So our instructors who are not teaching class will be doing some testings during classes and then we'll have testing uh, slots before and after classes as well as uh, all day on Fridays. So you guys will have plenty of time to be able to do testing and to take classes next week, which I know parents, if you're like me, will appreciate because that will keep people busy and not have people go crazy like Ms. Schultz is going crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's pretty much it. Make sure you sign up for your private lesson for this week. Um, and if you guys, of course, as always, have any questions, uh, just either call or email us at your appropriate school number. But you guys are rocking it. Uh, Miss Amanda and I switched hosting responsibilities this week, so I'm glad to get to see some of you guys I haven't seen in a couple weeks. So that's really cool. But I'm going to... Um, Unspotlight Ms. Schultz here. We guys are gonna get to see everybody. I'm gonna unmute everybody, so make sure you say yeah. hi. 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 Why, why, do you, why don't you job, put guys. this stuff on YouTube? Uh, no. What was that, Noah? My daddy wants to say my daughter. My daughter told me you put this stuff on YouTube. Oh, I found yeah, your so laptop. We, we, uh, oh. Taylor, we put on YouTube for people who can't make it. I don't it. see it. So, so, I'm going to make sure you get those links out. Thank you. Right. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.